Good morning world, how y'all doing? Yeah, Eric has finally lost his mind officially. It's beautiful out here. I've been questioning life lately. I've been questioning this trip. I've had a lot of soul searching lately and uh, all I can do pretty much is just laugh hysterically. And <laughs> trying to move on. Um, anyway, pack up a few things, hit the road, see what today has to offer. That's all I can do. So this morning, I don't know the condition of the highway because we're about two to three miles away from it. The ground here is frozen, quite significantly frozen. I was at the wait and see. I also don't know how far we have to drive to get service or to find out what's going on. I think my final destination might be the town of Eli, Nevada, if we can get there. Just don't know. We made it to Eli. I still have my sanity, everybody. Well, that could be argued, but uh, had some frozen pipes this morning. I got uh, no running water in the RV at all. And uh, the fridge quit working at 3 a.m. Give me an error. I think it just got too cold. I don't know for sure and uh, went through nearly an entire 20 pound propane thing last night. <laughs> it cost about $27 a night to keep it above 40 degrees all night, yeah, that's right. But hey, today's a new day. We're here in Eli and we're here at the railroad, Northern Nevada Railroad Museum, I guess. Well, we are just as baffled as you. It is Monday about 10 a.m. and they're closed even though their hours are open Monday 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. The only day they're closed is Tuesdays, but um, very strange. <laughs> I guess they just decided to change things up. So this is a pretty quirky block. Uh, they have free parking, but uh, they got lots of restaurants and, and neat stuff here. I know we're kind of pointing at the sun here, but look at this old thing, the Hotel Nevada, the club. Oh, there's a Denny's right there and a casino. Nevada Club, look at that miner up there. Pretty sweet old block. So it says this is the site of the first Ely City Hall built in 1908. And across the street is the Jailhouse Motel and Cell Block Steakhouse. Hmm. Look guys, cigarette machine, remember these? Mm-hmm. So they're not open till 5 p.m., but here's the steakhouse, jailhouse. And if you look in there, you can sit in your booth with bars. <laughs> That'd be kind of fun. Now that's a light, guys. The Jack Daniels bottle light. Very nice work. They have the, the doors assigned by cell number, cell 131. Look what we got here. Another terminus, Lincoln Highway, in memory of Mr. Lincoln Highway. Hm. Well, guys, they are, they're open at 11 instead of 8. Uh, the museum curator may have slept in today, but uh, I do see people going in, so let's go check out the Northern Nevada Railroad Museum. So it's uh, $8 to go on the tour here, and there's some indoor and outdoor stuff to see. Look at those old lights up there. Wow. Railroads are people serving people. Okie dokie. Yep, yeah, before electricity, these lamps would sit on top of the trains. Oh, the switches, excuse me. They did say we can cross the tracks. I guess that means that these are not being in use anymore. But they've got uh, four sets of tracks here. This car is called the Nevada Northern. Maybe we can peek in. Okay, can't peek in. Railroad definitely spawned Ely's growth. Can imagine. That is a 1939 hand cranked. Mimograph. A really old Underwood typewriter over there. Adding machine. We can get a little closer to this one. Wow. Check out these old locks here. Wow. That's an old lock. And the keys. Look at that. Woo. Salary payrolls, April 1916 to 1918. Wow. 
They kept a lot of junk in here. That is awesome. There's where they keep all the money. Hmm. 1937 stamp kit, alphabet, upper, lowercase numbers. 1937. Wow. That's incredible that they kept all this. How long a bit, uh, video will it be? An authentic fuse box. Look at this, guys. Not working anymore, but still here. Wow. So this deck here is pretty original. You know, this is where uh, in the 20s they would be sitting here waiting for the trains to come through and then board from the boardwalk here. Everything smells so old and nostalgic around here. It's really neat. All right, we're gonna walk across the train yard here. One of those mountains, man. Yeah, guys, admission in the museum gets you into the original machine shop here. You can look around and touch anything you want. Oh, man. Imagine having this shop. Woo! Whether it was really hot or really cold, they got two tracks where they can bring them in just like Jiffy Lube, bring the engines in here and they got a little bay to work underneath on stuff. It's not too often that old places like these even stay open to the public, let alone have all the tools and everything still in it. Look at this old funky clock. <laughs> That's cool. I don't know what this belt thing was for. Look at all those drill bits. <laughs> those things are huge. I wonder if the train mechanics were like only trained in one area of the shop or if they could just go do whatever. Look at this grinder. Wow. This is the uh, train car that's on the tracks. Well, it's like a Greyhound bus pretty much. Seats don't look too terribly comfortable. There's no knee room. <laughs> You're going to be buddies with your neighbor here no matter what. <laughs> it's a little colder in here. This is the engine shop. Look at this one. Wow. Oh, that's got the snow plow. I guess they would need it on some parts out here. Here's some coal. Yep, yep. Now if I swapped my four plastic horns for that one right there, I think I'd be good in old Yoda. Yeah. Look at this wrecking crane. Look at that engine. Look at the controls. Big old crane on it. And get a load of this caboose. It has seen better days, guys. That's an old caboose. We can peek inside this old caboose. It's like an RV. You got two bunk beds with a ladder. This might have been like a kitchen area or something. Pantry, yeah. Little loft upstairs and uh, a heater. It says rotary snow plow. Different kind of way to clear the snow. Whoa. Yeah, that might work. I don't know if this fire extinguisher is still good. Fomite? Interesting. made of copper. Huh. Look guys, we found the rail, the train rail kitty. Hey, dirt. What, you didn't bring me any cat treats? He's all dusty. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, meow. Oh, smell. Yeah. Oh, what a nice guy. You're so dirty, dirt. Is that your job, sharpening everything up? You gotta keep everything looking sharp, huh? Yeah. I wanna share a couple things. I did get a train magnet because I really, really liked that museum. It's a plastic magnet. Uh, for now, we'll put it right there. And ironically, well, inside the train museum, they had this used book from 2007. And I really wish I had this to start. Color pictures in every state. It tells you the stops and stuff to make. I mean, it's all color. It's a really nice looking book. Lots of good information and obviously a good map with all of the 
here's a here's a really good map. Um, yeah, so happy to have that. Jax is gonna love this feather. Where we're parked here, um, this lot is for the Hotel Nevada truck and RV parking. So exactly what we're gonna use it for. We've already been inside there and we're gonna try to go in later tonight as well. Hopefully won't have any problems here. Did you want it? Oh, you did want it? Did, did you want it? Okay. <laughs> is that a funny feather? What do you smell, huh? Weird. Oh, you're getting your slobber on it. You got drool on it, Jax. Quit nuzzling the feather. I saw a kitty at the rail yard. His name was Dirt. He was dirty. Can I have that? You're not using it. Oh, you were using it? Well, the sun has gone down here in Ely. And, uh, oh, my water is back on, so the water pump is no longer frozen. I can use all the water functions in my RV, and my refrigerator fired up. Man, I am ready for temperatures to warm up. I'm really ready. It's like little Vegas out here. Tiny little Vegas town, almost. Look how lit up this is. Almost feels like we're in New York City on one block. Oh, yeah. Actually, it feels more like Memphis to me. The neon. I'm gonna go inside and uh, talk to him in there and find out if it's okay for sure if I stay here overnight. I got the okay from uh, one of the clerks in here. Didn't need my name or anything. She just said RVs do it all the time. You should have no problem. So I'm treating that as an official okay. So last thing I just want to say is I am sorry if my attitude has been poor lately. You know Maybe I've been sharing too much of my frustrations with the world on Lincoln Highway. Um, I've been surprised a few times, that's for sure. A lot has surprised me with propane and cell service to upload videos to the world. It's been tricky, but things are gonna get better. I tend to not do so well when I'm parked in a spot that's uninteresting even if it's beautiful, that's when I tend to get down. Um, so as long as I'm moving a little bit and get to see some quirky, which I have planned, even though it's cold. <sighs> All right guys, have a great night, Jackson. I'll see you in a couple days from the Lincoln Highway. Bye-bye.